Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Shahri Armamejarov and Vasily Ivanchuk. This is a rapid game from online chess Olympiad 2020. Mamejarov had white pieces and he started with e4. Ivanchuk played c5, the Sicilian defense, c3, the Alapin variation, e6, d4, d5. Black has the French defense structure. E takes on d5, E takes on d5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, bishop to d6, white to move, Mamejarov castled king's side. D takes on c5 is a very common move in this position, forcing black bishop to move again. We have a castling, knight to e7, D takes on c5, Bishop takes on c5, and black has iqp. Knight from b to d2, Ivanchuk castled king's side 2. Knight to b3 attacking the bishop, bishop to d6. Bishop to d3 aiming at the pawn on h7. h6 controlling g5 square. h3 controlling g4 square. Knight to f5, rook to e1, queen to f6, bishop to c2, intending queen to d3 in some variations, rook to d8, queen to d3, black to move, g6 was played, let's take it back, if something like a6 then g4, and if the knight moves then queen to h7 check is unpleasant, back to our game, g6, but now queen to d2, attacking the pawn on h6, g5, let's take it back and play a random move, if a6, then bishop takes the defender of the pawn on h6, and after bishop takes, bishop queen takes on h6, back to our game. g5, and now when the weakness is provoked, the queen returned to d3, bishop to c7, white to move, g4 is possible in this position, forcing the knight to go to d6 or e7. So if g4, knight to d6, the white queen can visit h7 square. Back to our game. Bishop to e3, connecting rooks, no rush. Knight takes on e3, rook takes knight. Bishop to b6, attacking the rook. Knight from b to d4. Bishop to d7, rook from a to e1. White is standing better. King to f8, white to move. Next move, surely came as a surprise. Knight takes on c6 was played. Why? Well, the knight on c6 was defending e5 square. b takes on c6, white to move. Surely white must move the rook to a better spot like e2. But Mamajaro played this awesome move. Knight to e5. This looks like a blunder. But Mamejarov had a plan. Let's see what the plan is. Well, Ivanchuk played the obvious. Bishop takes on e3. Rook takes on e3. Black to move. Bishop to e6. Let's take it back. Let's play a random move again. Then queen to d4 with rook to f3 to follow. Back to our game. Bishop to e6. Knight takes on c6. Attacking the rook. Rook to e8. Knight to e5, rook to e7, queen to d4, threatening, check, winning the queen. For example, if a6, then check, and goodbye, black queen. Back to our game, queen to g7, queen to c5, pinning the rook, rook to e8, bishop to a4, black has a difficult position. Queen to f6, if something like rook to d8, then knight to c6. And white wins. Back to our game. Queen to f6. Bishop takes rook. King takes bishop. And now queen to d6. Threatening queen to b8. Check. King to f8. Let's take it back. If a6, queen to b8. Check. And white wins. Back to our game. King to f8. White to move. How would you continue now? White has a winning move in this position. And that is... Knight to d7, check. Bishop takes knight. What else? If king goes to g8, knight takes queen. 
So we have bishop takes knight, queen takes queen, rook takes rook, queen takes on h6 check, king to e8, white played a move and black resigned, and the move is f takes on e3. Ivanchuk resigned. Everything is clear. There is no need for an entertaining continuation. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.